Live. News 8 at 530 starts now. In health news tonight, a new treatment for patients coping with chronic circulatory disease. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Menta has more on what she found out about this breakthrough procedure. Jocelyn. Sonia and Darren, this is for patients with peripheral arterial disease, or PAD, which generally impacts diabetics and smokers. Now, the procedure recently got the okay from the FDA, and a surgeon at Norwalk Hospital is the first one to do it in the state. After years of smoking, Jim Councilman began feeling intense leg pain. The pain got to the point where it felt like somebody had a tourniquet on my leg, and they kept locking it down. The pain was caused by peripheral arterial disease or PAD, the hardening of the main arteries due to plaque just above Jim's knees. Here and you can see the blood flow comes down here but then it gets blocked. In Jim's case the narrowing of the arteries led to a complete blockage. Help came in the form of a drug eluding stent recently approved by the FDA. It's a big jump forward. Dr. Paul Gagne at Norwalk Hospital is the first surgeon in the state to implant it. He says like other stents to unblock the arteries in the leg, the metal is heat sensitive. But this one is coated with a thin layer of a drug known to cancer patients as Taxol. The medication actually stops the cells from multiplying in an abnormal or in a, uh, a damaging way and therefore the narrowing doesn't recur. The stent is right here. Basically minimizing scar tissue, leading to fewer reoccurrences. Rather than having to reintervene perhaps in as many as 30 or 40 percent of patients, now we may be intervening only on 10 or 15 percent of patients. This stent is also not, not more mold. flexible. The leg is moving all the time and so the stents have to be able to move with the leg. It was immediate relief for Jim Councilman. It's sort of like turning on the faucet outside in, in the spring. There's the chugging and coughing and this and that and finally you feel it, you feel the water going through and I felt that in my leg. He's good to go to do most things. I have no pain doing this. It's a two-hour operation and it's done as an outpatient procedure. If left untreated, PAD could lead to someone losing a foot. For more information, log on to WTNH.com. Darren? All right, actually, Jocelyn, I'll take it. Thank you.